Well, welcome back, guys, to Radiant Dawn. Let's continue on. Okay, so it's time to start Chapter 2, and I believe we'll be joining Aluncia's army for this chapter. Tibarn's party takes a long, circuitous route, leading them east around Lake Semper. The Hawk King's company includes Queen Alincia of Crimea, her trusted aide Lucia, the Heron Prince Racin, the Laguz warrior Ranulf, Dayan's King Peleus, and the Queen Mother Almeida. While they receive reports from the other two groups about the Disciples of Order, they have encountered no resistance, and have thus far traveled in peace. Hmm. Sounds a bit strange. Chapter 2, Silent World. Wonder why they're slowing down. Ah, that's right, when there's chaotic flow of war, then herons tend to get sicker and sicker. But since everyone's turned to stone, all of his, he feels physically better. Which is both a good thing and a bad thing. This is the world she had to give us after we ruined hers. That's one way of putting it. Right now the world is calm, peaceful, almost eerily so. It almost feels comfortable. If this goes on, we might relax, lose our edge. I'm worried that we'll get careless. He does have a point. This isn't a natural peace, it's a Shara's work. Yeah, it should be noisy, vibrant, and chaotic. Ah, so you're saying that it may be a tactic. Get you off your guard, and then attack you when your guard is down. He's safe. I'm pretty sure if we had elected to kill Peleus when we had the option, she would just be talking to herself there. Either that or that scene just doesn't happen at all. I'm not sure which. Alright, so let's talk to Racer.
You're hunting for treasure? <laughs> ah, so he got that same dream as well. The ones with light gr falling and digging into the ground. It's a perfect day for treasure hunting and enemies. Or for hunting treasure, rather. Okay, so we got another Satori sign. Well, you have a gift, do you? Okay, then. What is it? A fire tome, eh? on it. So, a Rex Flame Tome. Okay, so... Get up this support. that uh, Jeffrey isn't here so that I could start a support between him and Kieran. That would definitely help. But oh well. Now even though Peleus is part of the army, technically he, is, he isn't with us yet. He does join a, a couple turns after the map starts. Which is a shame. I would have liked to give him uh... Oh, never mind. I don't have it here anyway. I would have liked to give him Paragon. But oh well. Is there any abilities I could take from someone and then just give it to somebody else? Oh, let's take that off right away. Uh, allow an enemy unit to retain one HP when it receives a lethal blow. No, thank you. That would never come in handy. Go ahead and give these two an elf. I don't think I can give anyone anything else. Anything special at the shop? Balloon 
Alessio, you're gonna take a Vulnerary. And I'm also gonna buy her a Heal Staff. Now, if you don't give her a Heal Staff, then you're gonna be really strapped for healing, unfortunately. Because this group doesn't really have any other way to heal. Alright, Taronio looks like he's doing okay. Let's see if I can give Lucia some stuff. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We'll buy her a wind edge. That might come in handy. So Taronio's doing okay. okay for the moment, I think. Give him a slim sword, I guess. Not that it'll do him much good. Uh, he doesn't have a wind edge anymore. I'll have to buy him one as well. Danford. I guess he's okay for the moment as well. Now let's start handing out bonus experience. Basically, the only people I'm really going to care about for this chapter are Brahmin Nephany and Zehark and Jill, and also uh, Peleus once he shows up. I think that'll be good. I'll save the rest. 
Let me just give these guys the once over. I think that'll be good. Let's leave. <clears throat> ah, here they come, finally. Let's do just that, Tabarn. Let's knock some disorder into the world. Okay, so... Don't want Kieran, Makalov, Astrid, or L Liar. Chelsea, Hark, Rom, and Nephany. Is there anyone else I could give up? Okay then, let's fight. Alright, so what I'm planning to do is have Braum, Nephany, and Teronio start proceeding down this way. Jill and Zhark, for the most part, will be handling this part on their own. Hopefully. Now, I'm going to be also keeping Tabarn around the starting area, because enemies tend to, respawn, tend to spawn here for a couple turns, and so he'll be the one to take care of them.
Now this is where that, uh, where an A rank between Z Hark and Jill is really gonna come in handy since they both have plus 30 evasion now. Now these next few chapters are probably going to be going very slowly, because I, I think I usually play these really defensively. And I think I really have to, because the groups, these groups aren't as powerful as Ike's group. So Veltoma is here. We'll see about that, Veltome. You're gonna be going down this time. Ah, there's Peleus. Now he's going to be helping us. Now Peleus is a Dark Sage, so he uses Dark Magic. And he does have one long distance Dark Spell, so that'll come in handy. Especially considering that this guy that just warped in has a Blizzard Tome. That's what I really should have done. I should have bought a worm tome before I, I started the battle. Because worm's like the lowest level of dark, dark tome that you can get, so that would have really been helpful.
have ex an extra turn racing. Even though we have Peleus for a limited amount of time, I do think that he gets pretty good... As you can see, his stats are already pretty decent, and I think he gets pretty good... He has pretty good chances of leveling up his stats at level up as well. Totally unnecessary crit there, but okay, Z Hark. Uh, Z Hark. Hmm, strength and defense. Not bad. That, that's probably why I gave him the imbue skill, so that he can heal himself. already got an S rank in Thunder Magic and Dark Magic. I didn't know his Thunder Magic was so high.
There we go. Now you're starting to get some good stats there, Jill. About time. Alright, here they come. Oh, brr. That sucks.